order to determine the slope at a point when you have an array of data you can do it multiple ways. A good estimate is to take the point before the point of interest and after the point of interest. Um, that'll give you a good approximation what the slope is at the point of interest. So you would take um, the y value of the point after and the y value of the point before and take the difference. So that would give you the rise of the rise over run. And um, similarly, you would take the um, x-coordinate after the point of interest and the x-coordinate prior to the point of interest. And that distance will give you the run. So you have rise over run. And that's a good estimate of what the slope is at this point. Now, of course, if you're looking at the first point in a graph, you don't have a point before. So uh, the other approximation you can do, which is pretty close to being um, uh, accurate, is to take the rise and the rise over run of the of the point of interest and the point after it. Now there's a lot of other computational methods you can use to do this, but this is just one way, and it gives you a good estimate. That way you can complete the assignment where we ask, what is the slope at the three different points in the oxidation um, uh, curve, or the oxidation thickness versus time curve? So that finding the rise over run of oxidation versus time at any given point will give you the rate at those points. And you'll find that the rate decreases as the oxide thickness gets thicker. And the rate also varies as a function of crystal orientation and as a function of temperature and what type of oxidation you do, be it um, wet oxidation or dry oxidation. Let me know if you have any further questions.